What is up? What is up? What's up? Your magic cube, and I'm here with my dogs. Say, um, look at these guys. Anyways, uh, I started cooking. And I was like, you know what? Let's try documenting this and putting this on the channel. And hopefully, you guys like what I do. Uh, this is my. Cut it out. This is my recipe for Bicol Express. If you know what Bicol Express is, it's a pork dish from the Philippines uh, from the region of Bicol. And it is a little spicy with a little bit of coconut milk and good, good, good stuff. So here's what we got. I was already in the middle of preparing all this. Um, so I got here, pork belly. That's about, um, know, that's about a good couple pounds there. It's pretty heavy. Uh, one whole red onion, one whole red onion. And then um, I'm in the middle of chopping some garlic. I'm probably gonna do a whole garlic. I don't know, I like, I like uh, garlic, so. I actually have some pre minced garlic in a jar. And I might add it to this because sometimes the garlic is a little old. And I'm not saying that this is old, old garlic, but this is the. Uh, I bought this from say It's already been peeled and stuff. Um, sometimes the, the flavor's not there, it's not as concentrated. So I might add like maybe. I might add like a teaspoon of the peanuts garlic to this, just to, you know, give it that little extra oomph. Okay, so get this. Chop that up. I know wood cutting board better. Alright, so we put that off to the side. Look at the fridge is right here. This is what I'm talking about. Pretty much garlic. Put another extra. See it's like finely. Set up a little bit. Hey! Okay. Got a garlic. We got our uh, onions, pork belly. Um, like I said, people it's perfect. Hey, guys. Hey! Like I said, Bico Express is a spicy dish. Uh, I have fresh Thai red chilies. I'm put quite a bit. I'm gonna chop these up. Okay, I think this should be enough. Uh, I did a quick taste test. Put like half the chilies that I put because this thing is off the hook. It's so spicy. <laughs> okay, I like spicy, but so if you like spicy, then it's fine. And it's fine for me, but I know the people in my house, they don't like spicy. So yeah, put like half the chilies or even a third of the chilies that I put. In. So at the most, 
maybe like two uh, two green two Thai green chilies and two uh, red Thai chilies, right? So yeah, do that. What do you think? <laughs> We're just guessing here. <laughs> Chop it up, do the seeds. Pop this down. Worst comes to worst, if they don't like it, <laughs> the roommates don't like it, I will because I like spicy. So, obviously, for yourself, if you can use spicy, spicy like it, so just accordingly. I'm just ballparking this, to be honest with you. I don't, know. <laughs> I don't have an exact one, maybe. Mm -hmm. Sounds like the bag. Anyways, okay, moving right along. Chop that up. Ooh. <clears throat> okay, so for this, I, I I usually just take the the outside. You see, because like the inside is basically all just seeds and stuff. You just want that firmness of the tomato, the edge. So you can do this with um, one large tomato or two small ones or whatever you want. Okay. See? Alright, go to the little trash bag. Slice these up. Strips. You know, we're doing about two pounds of we're doing about two pounds of uh, pork belly. It's not gonna be enough, but. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna grab a third. third Hey, you guys 
these up. Let's, let's kind of recap what we did here. Hold on, let me turn this up here. All right, so let's recap what we did. Uh, we have about, let's say a quarter cup of red Thai chilies, uh, the same amount of green Thai chilies. We have a whole uh, garlic. We have one whole red onion. We have about two pounds of uh, pork belly and three tomatoes. Uh, no seeds, kind of the, just the outside. Let me get specific. Right. And on top of that, two cans of coconut milk and baco on. This is a uh, fermented shrimp paste. If you are not Filipino, you do not know what that is. It is really salty, but it adds a different kind of flavor to the. Um, to the final product, so let's get going. <clears throat> All right. Uh, high heat, medium, medium high to medium, or medium high to high heat. I'm gonna trust the water here. Uh, it's my spatula, right. spatula. Oil. Alright. About two teaspoons of oil. Got my uh cool salt and shark salt and pepper shaker. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cook the onions first. Sweat these out. I'm gonna wait for these to uh, try to get these to uh, motion up a little bit. Wait for the, uh, the color of the onion to get translucent. See, it's got a little bit of color to it. And then we're going to add our garlic.
かかりますそう。And as always, season your meat. Don't forget, crisp. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> crisp black pepper, so much better than. This is like the stuff you buy when you have an emergency. You don't have a grinder. Mm -hmm. 
So, you see the meat's like in a good color. Try to get cooked. I'm gonna spread this out a little bit so that the stuff on the top. There you go. Starting to get cooked. So this pork belly has the skin still on it, so and you want that skin to cook down and get crispy and stuff. So Now it's going to seem like the pork to sauce ratio is a lot, but we got one more can coming. And because we have this uh, warming up, we're going to bring it to a boil and let it kind of reduce a little bit, let, let all the flavors kind of infuse with each other. In the meantime, Okay, so we brought it up to a little bit of a boil. The flavors are starting to mix together, and then you see that the pork is getting nice and cooked. Um, and then we got one more step to go, and we're almost done. Take your last cup, or our last can, salt and milk, pour that in there, along with green 
And right now, the, the consistency of the sauce is, is a little bit thin, <clears throat> but once it cooks down, it you know it gets a little bit thicker, and those nice flavors come together. All right. Okay, for now. Okay, so again, we're gonna let this come to a boil, let it cook down. Um, you can see there the green chili peppers. They're still a little, uh, uh, still to cook, I guess. You want them, you want them to boil a little bit. One of them, kind of like when you um, cook onions. You want them to get a little uh, loose, I guess you want to say. Okay, so let's let this uh, let this uh, boil. Or yeah, you know, this is boiling for like another I don't know, maybe ten minutes on uh, medium heat, medium medium high heat. Let the let the, the coconut milk do this because you want that to be nice and thick. So, all right. Definitely don't want to forget to cook your rice like I did. So that's going to cook, which is fine because this is going to take some time to rest and all that good stuff. All right. We are almost there. The Beagle Express is done. I've already put it into a, a nice serving dish. And just for color and presentation, chopping up some green onions here. Man, I need a new knife. This is not. It's not cutting well. See these? Save these. Put them in a glass of water. They'll grow some more. So put that there. All right, and there you have it. Beagle Express by me. Put this over rice, and you're good to go. All right, here's the finished product. You got a nice fresh plate of white rice. My Beagle Express. Let's give it a try. All right, let's see how this tastes. So, as I said earlier, it did come out a little spicy. But, I like spicy. If you don't like spicy, then do like, I don't know, do a third of what I did. Mm. Coconut juice. I will hollow this up. Mix, mix. Woo! This smells so good. There's some chilies in there. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, my God. It's so good. Pork isn't overdone, it's not, not um, rubbery. You got that, um, you got the coconut, obviously. A little bit of the, but that, uh, the bagong. And the spice. Like I said, if you like spicy, this is fine. But if you don't like spicy, then, you know, definitely do a lot less than what I did. Because I know this is gonna be a heater for some people. So, mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm. I don't even know if I mentioned this, but this is my first time making this. And it came out great. Oh my God. So good. Uh, with that being said, Game of Boys, Iron Man JQ, that's Barry, that's Rogue. This is my Beacon Express with rice. <clears throat> Tune in next time. I'll talk to you later. Beep.